I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this week we are at Samson State Park, which is located on Seneca Lake near Geneva, New York. We are at an Airstream rally, the Taste of New York. This was a real fun event. Uh, we started the event by being the welcome committee. Uh, we set up a tent and as people came in, we hand them their goodie bags and told them about the rally. It was a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. You get to meet people that you haven't met before and then you get to see from some faces that you already know. Yeah, yeah. It's always a lot of, it's always great to get together with our Airstream friends. So what are you doing? Sitting, waiting to, you know, check people in as they arrive. Oh, and I say, what is this? It's for, um, what is it called? Taste of New York Airstream Rally 2024. Uh-huh. And you are the? The welcoming committee. On Friday night or Friday afternoon, we had a wine and beer tasting party, and that was a lot of fun. Everybody was encouraged to bring either their favorite wine or their favorite beer. Right, and, and we try to prioritize New York State wines and beers, but there was a great variety of all of them. Yes, there was, and it, it very well attended. We did have a lot of wine and a lot of beer. And some food. And some food, yes. We had charcuterie boards. Uh, with uh, cheese in and olives or pickles, some meat, some crackers, and that was a lot of, and also bags of popcorn. So yeah. that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that really was. That really was. That was a highlight. Yeah, that was a, that was a good time. What do you got there? I don't know what I got. Wine. Wine. One New York State Thousand Islands Winery, and this is what. California? Yeah. Erringers? And what are they for? For what is it, wine and beer tasting? Right. Yeah, we get to drop them off now so that they can chill them and get everything ready for the um, wine and beer tasting later this afternoon. Yep. Hey! hey there. Let me grab one of these for Diane and I. White cheddar's going fast, but there's four flavors of popcorn. Okay. On Saturday, we went into Geneva for a festival. We took some of our friends with us. Yes, it was their annual garlic festival. And I was thinking, having been to other festivals, it was some more arts and crafts. But in fact, it was all just garlic. It was just garlic and wine. Wine, yes. Yeah. But we got something for lunch. And we got something for the dogs. Yeah, they got some dog treats. Oh, are you kidding? No, 
Oh, yeah, there's a sauerkraut festival in this area too. Well, and we like uh, we when we get a sausage, a bratwurst or something, we it, it's got to have kraut on it. <laughs> We're both of German heritage, so I guess maybe it's just genetic. Right. How many is that? What do you see? Jewelry. You can't be in the Finger Lakes area without having a wine uh, fest or a wine uh, presence. So there's plenty of uh, different choices here for wines and other neat uh, treats. What you got? <laughs> Can't you the mouthful? What is it, man? What is this? Oh, pulled pork. Pulled pork and uh, mac and cheese. Yep. I kind of like that idea. I can do, do that at home. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, we finished our tour of the garlic festival. Um, it was garlic. <laughs> That's <laughs> which well, is what you expect, had, I guess. But yeah, you didn't expect. I mean, had a couple of food trucks. Wine, um, yeah. yeah, a couple yeah. different. Had something to eat. Yeah, a couple and different vendors. Did you get something for the dogs? I can I did. There was a, a vendor with a dog treat, so I got. Of course, whether they'll eat them is another matter. But right. I didn't spend that much, so if they don't eat them, you know, oh well. Yeah. So yeah, so we finished. Uh, but it was fun. Something to do. Something local. Yeah, and we went with our friends Dale and Cat, who also have an airstream. Yep. So yeah, it was it was a fun event. Yep. Now let's get back to the rally. Okay. I think it was going to four hours. How did you know? On Saturday night, we had a dinner. Yes, a catered dinner. It was a pulled pork dinner. It was delicious. And um, after that, we had music by the group The Sticks and Stones. Yeah, they're a really great local country western band that came and played, and everyone loved them. Yeah, we had them last year at our rally, so we invited them back this year, and they did not disappoint again at all and uh, it was a nice evening. Yeah. Can you uh can you a request? Can you install a bidet and I'll watch your video on how to put it in? <laughs> Just a request. They've been talking. Just a request. About it. Okay. Yeah. Request. Sure. Okay. We've been working on that. <laughs> hey, get out of my shop. We mean get out. Oi, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to shoot a video here. Hey, love subbing. Hey guys, how are you? How goes it? Good. Good. How's the weekend going? Very good. How's your weekend? Good. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> How's that DJ? Is that a DJI what? It's a DJ Pocket 3. I think it's awesome. It is. So here it is. I think two YouTubers coming together. I assume we're not going to have some weird energy going on here. <laughs> Looks like a great uh, dinner here with the uh, barbecue. Yes. So it should be a uh, good time. <laughs> All right, Randy. We'll catch you guys. Okay. Sunday morning we had a breakfast. A continental breakfast. And that was provided by our friends at SkyMed. Yes. And they actually asked us to talk because we've had recent experiences with SkyMed as probably a lot of you know. 
yes, we, they gave us, they wanted us to give, you know, talk about our experience with SkyMed, and then they followed that up. Their rep was here and followed it up. You were able to apply for SkyMed insurance if you had not already. Um, his presentation was excellent as usual. And uh, I think he had a lot of success. I think he did. I think he had a lot of our um, rally attendees um, apply for the insurance. And yeah. really, it, it's not um, particular to um, Airstreams. Anybody can um, apply for travel insurance. Uh, you do have to have, is it, isn't it for RVs? No. No, no, no. it's not for anybody RVs. Can, anybody, anybody can, can travel, can apply for it. It's for emergency relocation, medical issues. It um, doesn't matter if you're in an RV or flying by a plane or, or, at home. or just need an ambulance at home. Right. And it, it really is. I mean, take it from us. Our experience was wonderful, and we would highly recommend it if, if you have an RV. If you don't have an RV, um, it is well worth it. And I'll put information down below in the description on how to contact this guy, Matt, if you're interested. Right. Well, today is Sunday, and it's the third day of the rally, and this morning they're having breakfast. And a representative from SkyMed is here, and he's going to talk a little bit about the value of getting SkyMed. And he actually asked Diane and I to talk about our experience with SkyMed, so we're going to do that. But first, we're going to get some breakfast. Donuts? Randy, Diane, what would you like? Uh, Do you have planes? Planes? We're going quick. I don't know if there's any planes. I have a jelly. I have apple fritters. Planes. I hate to tell you, Diane. I'll try an apple fritter. Planes were the biggest seller today. Thank you. I don't know what to tell you it is, but... <laughs> I can't tell you. Randy? Randy and Diane... Uh, unfortunately had to utilize our services this year, but I'm going to let them share their story and tell you about their SkyMed experience. So if you could please give them your attention. Hi everybody, uh, I'm Randy. Thank you. And we travel during the winter time and we like to, we typically like to go out to the southwest and this year found us um, in San Diego for what was supposed to be a two week stay, turned into two months. Um, Diane had some health issues and she ended up going into the hospital. Um, so we, they did a lot of diagnostics. She was in there for about four weeks and they finally determined that she needed major surgery. And at that point, we, I contacted SkyMed and I said, I'm not sure what we're going to do or what's going to happen, but I know at some point we're going to need you guys. And so they opened up the case, and they sent us all the paperwork, and they were really great. The, the, the guy, Jim, that we talked to was wonderful. He, he referred to us as family, and he really treated us like family. Um, well, it turns out, you know, Diane was in the hospital that couldn't do the surgery for her, but the doctor um, that was attending her contacted a specialist at another hospital, and as soon as they got her discharged from that hospital, she went to the specialist's office, and the specialist um, scheduled the surgery for a month later, or no month, a week later. And uh, she got in, she in there, it was a pretty major surgery. She was in the hospital for over a week, and after she got discharged, um, we got approval for her to travel a week later, and only because we had SkyMed. And I again talked to Jim at SkyMed, and he made all the arrangements for Diane to fly home, have a nurse accompany her, because I wasn't going to go back with her, because I was going to drive the trailer and, and bring our dogs back. Um, so the nurse went with her. She wasn't able to maneuver an airport at that time, mm. so they brought a car to the campground and took her to the airport, had a wheelchair waiting for her at the airport to get her to the plane. Same thing with changing planes. The nurse made sure that she was in good health even before she left the trailer. She did a preliminary check, the blood pressure and everything. She was there in case there was any issues and, and Diane was taking a little bit of medical equipment with her so that she needed, you know, if she had needed that equipment, um, you know, 
she would have someone to help administrate it. Uh, and she got home and got to, she actually flew to Buffalo and to her sister's house. And again, a car waiting at the Buffalo airport to take her to her sister's house with the nurse all the way. Uh, and now that he told her the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to jump in, you said. <laughs> When I flew home, they flew me first class home. Yeah. And uh, so that was nice. The nurse that I had was actually, she had 35 years of nursing experience. So, you know, you don't fly home with, you know, some, a nurse that's not a good experience. And she, she took care of everything when you were in the airport. She arranged for the uh, wheelchair service. We had a meal. Uh, when we got to Chicago, we transferred planes, she arranged everything, she took care of the tickets and all of that. So we flew first class, so that was a plus. When they picked me up at the um, campground, what kind of car was it? It was a Lincoln Town car. It was a Lincoln Town car they picked me up in. And when they said they were there at 8 o'clock in the morning, they were there at 8 o'clock in the morning. When we got to Buffalo, the driver with the car was there, and like Randy said, my sister lives in Lancaster, so she, they drove us to my sister's house. The nurse made sure I got in the house and, um, you know, was settled before she even left. So that, you know, that was a huge plus for me. For us, it's, what's interesting is that we didn't buy SkyMed for Diane. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm the principal driver when we travel. And, you know, about six years ago, six, seven years ago, when we signed up for SkyMed, it was because if something happened to me and we were someplace, because we typically travel to the Southwest, you know, quite a ways away, Diane wouldn't be, wouldn't be comfortable taking the trailer and the truck and the dogs and everybody home. And so we thought SkyMed was a great opportunity for that. And as it turns out, we used it for something totally what we never expected to do. And and it it was just you know one of those things that was really you know game changing for us. I mean we we would Diane would not have gotten home to start her follow up treatment that she needed to do in a timely manner without having SkyMed. So we really appreciate that and are big advocates of that. And we actually contacted Chris. We met him last year when we were here. Actually, last year when I was here, I, I pulled, because we do YouTube videos, I pulled Chris aside and said, I want to do a YouTube video about SkyMed. We've never used it, but I thought, geez, you know, it's like such a great service. We really like it, and we, for the reasons I originally said, that you know, something happens to me. And I never, I never did anything with that video, because um, I never had the rest of the story. And suddenly I had the rest of the story. And so if you do want to check out... Um, our whole story of what happened and everything is on our YouTube channel. You can come around and I can give you some information on that. you want anything? So I felt, you know, very comfortable. The service was great. And uh, I, if you don't have the service, and if you're like us, you know, and you trip, no matter how far you travel, you just never know what's going to happen because we never would have anticipated what happened to us being as our two week stay in San Diego turned into a two month stay. And uh, so I would highly recommend if you do any type of traveling um, with your RV that no matter how far it is well worth the service. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right now we're just getting ready to hook up and yeah, it's been it's been a great home. weekend. It was, it was. The weather could have been a little better. It was warm. It was hot. Yeah, it was very hot, but it had a little bit of rain. And it was very humid. Yeah. But you know, it didn't stop us from doing anything, and uh, yeah, it was a great weekend. And so, if you liked the the looks of this rail and you have an airstream, we are planning on it for next year. It's going to be the first weekend of August. Uh, actually, it's going to start on August or July 31st. We'd love to have you attend. It's probably getting to be one of the largest rallies in New York State. We had 67 airstreams registered this year. We have accommodations for up to 90. So we got room to grow, and we'd love to have a few more of you guys come and join us. So let me know, and, and we will make sure to keep you in the loop. Right. Or you might have friends that attended. 
um, ask them about it, and uh, I know that they will just share good things with you. Yeah. Well, if you enjoyed this video, what should they do? Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. And hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on our next video. We po try to post video on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along with our adventures. So until next time. We're sick to see you guys down the road. Take care. Bye. Daisies blooming. Sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me. And I hope that you never decide to set me free. Way you're moving It's got me moving my own feet The greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Is you forever moving next to me Let's not waste time or take this slow We've got my behind us but miles to go so let's just break this down to the simplest truth you and I as one will always be better than two leaves ain't waiting their colors changing like the times and I'm taking Darling, would you be mine? And I hope you know I will love you For the rest of my life